your comments, likes and your emails that keep pouring in with different questions. And picking up a question from there, I thought about talking today about mental health and how toxic workplaces take a toll on us without us really realizing. You know, if you're waking up in the morning feeling really tired and exhausted and not looking forward to the day, sometimes you don't even want to get out of your bed. And as you're getting ready, you don't want to look your best. You, want, you just put on something shabby and drag yourself to work. Once you're over there, you're just shying away. You don't want to run into people. Chances are the place that you're working in is giving you more of negative strokes or you're soaking in more negativity than any kind of positive energy. And there could be various reasons for this. Um, and I don't want to just uh, shrug it off saying there's something wrong that you are doing. There are a lot of times when we do our best, yet that place is just too toxic or the circumstances are such that they're not working for us as individuals. And, you know, trying to seek, um, you know, a reconfirmation of how we are feeling or trying to seek out and talking to our colleagues if they are feeling the same doesn't really help. Each of us have very different personalities. Something that's working for your colleague might not be working for you. Uh, a place that's giving you a lot more negativity might be very positive for someone else. So let's look inside, let's look within ourselves and see what's really making us unhappy. There could be several reasons for this. First, foremost reason is you're not getting along with your manager. And again, both you and your manager might be great people who are trying their best, but just the personality types are such that you're not able to work with each other. You're not able to trust each other. And you've tried your best. And it's just not the manager. Sometimes it could also be that you're surrounded with people you're not getting along with. Uh, the people around you uh, are giving you negative strokes or you've been set up in projects where there's no clear role definition, you're feeling lost, the team is feeling insecure, there could be a hundred things. Now some of these things can be solved by working in a more focused manner. Some of them can be solved by talking to your boss. Yet there will be situations which are out of your control. Yes, it always helps to have a mentor that's two to three levels above you and can influence or change situation for you by maybe giving you another assignment, change of location, or trying to work out things between you or your manager if that's the real issue. Uh, but if you're not able to navigate through this, it's best you know, to take a step back, not let your mental health slip. If you feel you really are feeling down, you're not being able to give the best to your work, it might be time that you see a counselor or a psychiatrist. Okay, there's nothing wrong in it. Don't let your performance take a toll while you're dealing with all this. Um, toxic workplaces do exist. They can impact your mental health. You might need to take support. Do that. And do not leave a workplace simply by slipping too much in depression not seeking timely help and letting that affect your performance. If you're going through all this, seek help and support. Talk to a counselor, if need be to a doctor and start looking out for options, right? Don't let one small toxic place or one small place or instance in your life spoil your career or, or the life ahead of you. You know, uh, over the last 20 years, there have been so many instances where I've heard my juniors come and tell me that they're so fed up that they want to simply quit. There have also been instances where someone has just quit without having a job in hand. What happens in that case? You slip further into a very dark hole. You go further down a depression lane, right? And that's why I say when there's still time, wake up, take charge of your health, physical and mental, and start looking out for options. While you're dealing with all this, maybe pick up a new skill. Enhance yourself. Make sure your performance at work doesn't drop. That itself will take care of a lot of negativity that's happening around yourself. And as you sail through all this and stay mentally sharp and agile, you never know, something good might come across. And when that comes, comes across, do not be in a hurry 
to jump and take it. You know, always remember, interview is a two-way process. It's your time to assess the organization. It's your time too to assess the manager and then make a balanced call that, okay, this is the manager I'll be working for who's interviewing me today. How do I feel about it? Did I enjoy my interaction? Would I like to work for this manager? And if the answer is yes, only then move. Don't jump from one negative place and land into another because frequent jumps also do not help, right? So wishing you the very best. If you have any further questions, feel free to email me or drop in the comment box. And as I always say, it's a short life. It's not worth burning it out with people who are negative around you. Find a place where you can be happy, where you can flourish and enjoy this beautiful life.